again, YouTube. We are doing Free Code Camp backend development and APIs, and we are doing basic node and express, and we're going to serve a JSON file on a specific route. So this is kind of like what a backend will actually be doing uh, when you have a full stack project. Again, I did say this in a previous video, but if you didn't watch that one, essentially this Free Code Camp backend development and APIs uh, entire course is kind of a sandbox environment and not an entirely realistic uh, course on how you would actually set up a full stack app with Express and Node as a backend. Um, so, you know, take all this with a grain of salt, but this is kind of a closer simulation to anything we've done of how a backend would actually work, is it would respond at a certain route and a certain method, so like Git, with a JSON. So it responds with a JSON instead of just a JSON like this hello JSON, it would obviously pull data from a database instead. So uh, yeah, all we're going to do for this is basically learn about REST. So read this if you haven't gone through it, um, but it's basically explaining that REST is an API. Uh, a REST API is a type of API that will serve data uh, in a simple way without the need for clients to know details about the server. Okay, so client only, the client only needs to know where the resource is, so the URL, and the action to perform it, so a git request or so forth. Uh, JSON is a convenient way to represent a JavaScript object as a string, and it can be easily transmitted, da da da, so forth. So all we're going to do here is serve a JSON object in the response to the slash JSON route. Um, then point your browser to slash JSON the app URL slash JSON and you should see the message. So uh, we're going to use the git method and we're going to use res.json. So response.json method which will enclose the data. So we can go back to our replit app here and we can go to the myapp.js file and this is where we'll create the new path. So this is going to be challenge number five. Let's comment this out. And then we can just say app.git. So this is creating a new git request route. We can specify the route here at slash JSON. So that'll be our URL here, slash whatever we put here. That's the route. And then we can pass it the handler function, which is uh, request, response. And then we'll use arrow functions for this. Again, this would be the same as just saying function and then not having that arrow. but we like to be modern, keep up with modern JavaScript, we'll use arrow functions here. So this is the first argument, the JSON string, and then this is our second argument, this entire handler function. It's an unnamed function, but it takes the request and response parameters, and we are going to respond with a JSON, and the JSON will be uh, message, hello JSON, yep, so string of message and the value of hello JSON. I believe that's the capitalization they want. Yep. And now if we stop our server and start it up again, that just does an NPM start. And now we can go to the server link. So let's go to this link. This is the live link for our project. And then if we just add the slash JSON to the end of it, we should see the JSON response. Yours probably won't look like this. I have an extension, but we can see our JSON response there. So now that we have that running, we can head back to Free Code Camp and paste in our solution and complete the challenge. Uh, and yeah, that's all we have to do for this one. I hope that made sense. And as I said, the important thing to note with this uh, challenge is this is this is essentially what you would be doing um, in a backend. Instead of responding with a JSON that's hard coded, you would be making a pull to the database and getting specific information and then responding with that JSON. Uh, that information being dependent upon the route and what, what method you know you create here based on your needs for the front end. So I hope that made sense, hope that helped, and I will see you guys in the next challenge.